Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and this is I'm taking my uh, Mini 3 Pro out for its first trip away from home <laughs> and uh, all this time since I got it a week or two ago I have been flying it out of my backyard. Then as I was traveling uh, I thought wait a minute I never have calibrated the compass and uh, I mean that's a foolish thing on my part the whole time I've been flying it but uh, you know it, it tells you that the compass calibration is okay but uh, you can't always uh, you, you need to always calibrate your compass just no matter what the sign says or what the menu says so I'm since I'm out here in the middle of nowhere on my way to a, a, a housing development he's pretty noisy anyway uh, on my way to a housing development I don't want to try to to uh, calibrate it there I want it better just calibrate it out here in the open spaces so I got everything out and uh, uh, got all set up as if I were going to take off but all I'm gonna do is calibrate the compass get that started and then this is how I calibrate the compass all right I do it a little different than most folks although I, <laughs> I don't always trip over my landing pad Anyway, it works the same. Uh, it just uh, uh, rotate it horizontally and then uh, hold, hold it vertical and rotate it vertically. And sure enough, <clears throat> uh, that calibrates it and everything is good and it says okay. So uh, anyway, uh, that's that, that was a little thing I did on the way to where I was gonna fly my drone. So let's take the drone off and go look at uh, a, a construction site that I've been watching, and I can't figure out what what they're actually going to do with that site, as you'll see when we get over it. But uh, I've been out there a couple times, and I thought, well, uh, first trip away from home for the little uh, Mini 3. Let's check that out. So that's where we're headed. And then also, uh, as you know, if I've been uh, if you've been following my channel. Uh, I've been uh, going uh, through the the, uh, the Lord's Prayer and uh, taking it piece by piece and then talking about it. And uh, uh, it's uh, we've gotten down to where, uh, well, this, I'll just go through it. I'll also put a copy in the, uh, in the description. Uh, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive me my sin. Or, or forgive us our sin. I personalize it as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from an evil. And then this is the part we're going to talk about today. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. I don't know how far we'll get through all of those, <laughs> but uh, uh, we'll, get, we'll get started on it anyway. Uh, let's, let's talk about for thine is the kingdom. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the Lord's Prayer, it says, thy kingdom come. And then down at the, uh, at the end, it says, thine is the kingdom. So well, what's going on here? I don't know for sure, but my opinion is <laughs> uh, at the, when we say uh, thy kingdom come, that's an indication that we are waiting for Jesus to come back and uh, uh, for him to be able to start his reign on uh, on his king in his kingdom, it's it, his reign is not. Uh, he's still he's still treated rudely and unkind and uh, by a lot of people. So it's uh, you know uh, he is not right now reigning in his kingdom, but he will someday. So at the end of the prayer, where it says. For thine is the kingdom. <laughs> this is a prayer to God, and it's uh, it's indicating that we are aware that uh, you are the king. Uh, I mean, all, we have all these major countries around the world, you know, um, major powers, and <clears throat> and uh, they're all trying to to run the world, and uh, so <laughs> so you know, uh, and they're trying to do their best to, to get the whole world together. So that uh, some person somewhere, which uh, which is getting ready, is getting close, uh, will will rule the world. <clears throat> but what people don't realize 
is God is already in in charge, and um, he's he's taking over, or he is in control. By the way, right there, I just switched from, um, I I put it on 30 frames per second. By the way, I don't know what this is. Uh, It's a little confusing to me. Uh, They're black topping all this, and they got that little tiny building. So uh, we're going to find out what it is. It looks like there's a fire plug way down there at the end. (laughs) So anyway, so uh, uh, where was it? Oh, okay. So we've got uh, people wanting to take over the world, and what they don't realize is that God is in control, um, and uh, we'll all learn the truth about that someday. And it, the, in the in the Bible, it says, uh, uh, "Man's wisdom is foolishness with God." And uh, you know, a uh, good example of that. I don't know if you've ever thought about it, but uh, uh, have you ever wondered how God can answer everybody? He's listening to everybody's prayer all at the same time from around the world. How does He do that? Well, <laughs> uh, uh, He is in charge. But here's how it works. See, we have about a block from our house, we have a cell tower, and in that, uh, on that cell tower, there's a little computer uh, chip or whatever's in there that handles thousands and thousands of phone calls all at the same time. Uh, so, and that was, that was uh, designed by humans like us. <laughs> so you can imagine then the difference if, uh, if man's wisdom is foolishness with God, um, just think about the fact that he can he can answer all those prayers at the same time. So uh, when it when the the Lord's prayer says, "Thine is the kingdom," uh, there's no doubt that he is in charge. And one of these days, uh, he's going to send or Jesus is going to come back. Uh, and uh, he, he, I hope that you're ready because <laughs> uh, we're in, we're in times right now where. Uh, it, it, the Bible says that we're getting really close, and if you want to check check out some of the things that are going going to be happening, and and uh, compare them with what's going on now, I always recommend people to read <clears throat> Matthew chapter 24, where Jesus is telling how it's going to be before He comes back the second time, or before yeah. So anyway, uh, so we got through one of them today. <laughs> For for thine is the kingdom. And then uh, next time on the next video, we'll go with the power. And, you know, actually, we could talk about that right now. I got a little bit of time yet. Uh, he's, he, what, what, you know, if you ever pray that prayer, I like to say the power to heal and answer prayers because he has that power. He is able to change things uh, and uh, do things that, you know, like we say, well, how could that ever happen? Well, God can, nothing is impossible with God. That's what the Bible says. That's not what I say. Uh, so, you know, he does have the power to do things. And and healing, uh, I wouldn't be here today if my grandma hadn't prayed and prayed and prayed that I would be healed from a disease that stopped my kidneys way back in the 40s when uh, they didn't have kidney machines. So uh, I'm like uh, an example of how he answers prayers. And then he also changes people. Uh, <laughs> and uh, when, you put your, when you trust your life to Jesus, he will change you and, uh, if, you if you're willing to let him. So anyway, uh, that's about all as I come in to land here. But uh, we got through two of them. And uh, on the next video, we'll, go, we'll continue on and we'll be almost finished with the Lord's Prayer. But I want to thank you for watching my videos, and God bless.